Mr. Durst, Senator, we're honored to have you on tonight. Um, so I, I got to ask you, how much were you motivated to run for office by concerns like inflation and gas prices? Was that meaningful to you? Oh, well, everything's meaningful to me, but it, it just became a, as I keep telling people, a perfect storm. You, you not only had the high cost of living in the state, the worst tax rate, the worst business tax rate, it, you, you had people being told they couldn't live, they couldn't go to stores, they couldn't go to church, you had the nursing home deaths. It, it just became a, a combination of everything, and I got fed up with it, and I said, I'm not leaving the state, I'm going to fix the state. Well, and that seems like a that's what I chose of, to do. I mean, that's a triumph of democracy, right? You know, it's a citizen who decides he wants a hand in running his government. But you weren't congratulated by a lot of media outlets. They immediately attacked you for saying naughty things on Twitter or whatever. Were you surprised that you weren't the subject of a feature film after this triumph? <laughs> uh, no, no. I, 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 this is all a surprise. I knew it was a major thing to beat the Senate president. He had been in yeah. there a long time. But everybody else has kind of made it a big deal. You know, I, I had a lot of great people around me. I had my county chair, Jackie Vigilante, and my political director, Steve Cush, leading the path. And the be I have to get it out there, Tucker. There was a lot of people who won, not just myself. You had my two right. running mates, Beth Ann McCarthy Patrick and Beth Sawyer. And then you had Nick DeSilvio and Chris Conowell, who won county commissioner. And then you had John Sammons, who won the first African American sheriff in our county. And these people all worked hard. We all knocked doors. What have you talked to Sweeney since you dethroned him? I mean, how baffled is he? Yes, yes. We, we had a uh, phone conversation yesterday after he had given his uh, press conference to the media and he congratulated me and just wished me luck to do well for South Jersey. So he was a gentleman about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was a gentleman. Good for him. And, and we, we, you know, and like I told him, I said, you know, if he ever needed anything, just give me a call, you know, because I'm, I'm, is representative now. <laughs> That's so great. Mr. Durr, congratulations.